This is Damien Ferry reporting for The Unshackled and I am here today to announce the results of the 2016 Unshackler Awards. Now we have had such a great year. We've had Brexit, we've had Hanson, we've had Trump and so many more achievements that have come in the year that has just passed. Now what I'm going to do is announce them in order from the 10th down to the 1st award. We've got 10 nominees in each of the categories and I'm going to announce them likewise from the 10th down up to the 1st. The top 3 will be announced and I will give detail on the top 3 that have come and placed. Now if you want to receive all of the results in detail go to www.theunshackled.net slash awards and all of the results will be there to be seen. For the 10th award we have the worst introduced policy of the year. We have the South Australian Government treaties with the Aboriginal people, the sugar tax, full term abortions in Queensland, the ban of the Adler shotgun, 50-50 gender representation, EU Open Borders, Respectful Relationships Program down in Victoria, and for the top three now, in third place, the New South Wales Liberal Government's ban on greyhound racing. That came in at 8% of the vote. In second, Building Belonging Program of Victoria. That came in with 25% of the vote. And in first place, and the winner of the worst introduced policy of the year, this goes to the Safe Schools Program with 60% of the vote. And I have to say that it's definitely a program with chaos, with cultural Marxism all over it, and it doesn't surprise me that that is one with an overwhelming result today. Now we will go to the Best Introduced Policy of the Year. We've had less funding for the ABC and the SBS, lower company tax for the USA, lower company tax for Australia. We've had the real repealing of Obamacare, the repealing of 18C of the Dis Discrimination Act, the same-sex marriage plebiscite, the wall that Trump is due to build. Now in third place, we have the six-month wait for the doll that was introduced by George Christensen from the LNP. In second place, we've got the cooperating with Russia that was Trump, that was cooperating in Russia and potentially ended World War III that was due to start under Hillary Clinton. They both respectively earned 15 and 19% of the vote. And in 56% of the vote, the first place winner of the Best Introduced Policy of the Year was Donald Trump's ban on Muslim immigration. Now, the next award is the Fake News of the Year for 2016. We've had Bloomberg, MSNBC, ABC in the USA, BBC, The New York Times, Washington Post, Fairfax, and in third place, we have The Guardian here in Australia. In second place, we have ABC Australia, both, both with 17% for The Guardian and 33% for the ABC, and the winner of the fake news of the year goes to CNN with 50% of the vote. And I have to say that it's not a surprise by any chance because we've definitely had recent fake news from the CNN in regards to the crowd sizes of the inauguration of Donald Trump compared to with Barack Obama eight years ago. Now, the next award is International Media Personality of the Year. We have had the likes of David Icke, Steve Price, Sean Hannity, Miranda Devine, Alan Jones, Ray Hatley, Alex Jones, 
In third place, with 16% of the vote, is Paul Murray from Sky News. In second place, 23% of the vote, Andrew Bolt, also from Sky News and 2GB. And the winner, with 31% of the vote, is none other than Milo Yiannopoulos, a great media presenter for Breitbart and in the USA. A great, great media person and doing a lot for the movement. Now, for the next award, we have the Triggered Feminist of the Year. We have had the likes of Emma Alberici, Gretel Colleen, Huma Aberdeen, Susan Carland, Lee Sales, Katy Perry, Vanessa Van Badham. And in third place goes to the internet sensation Cora Siegel, better known as Trigglypuff, with 11% of the vote. In second place, Australia's own, one of the worst feminists around at the moment, Clementine Ford, with 25% of the vote. And the winner of Triggered Feminist of the Year goes to Hillary Clinton, with 32% of the vote. And with people surrounding her campaign, which suggested they should vote for her just due to the fact that she was a woman, she definitely deserves this award. Now, the next award is for the Cis White Male of the Year. We've had the likes of Richard Spencer, George Christensen, Boris Johnson, Mike Pence, David Lionhelm, Julian Assange, Nigel Farage, and in third place, Netherlands' own Gert Wilders from the Freedom Party, and a good chance at the elections coming up very soon. In second place, with 18% of the vote, Vladimir Putin of Russia, great candidate for cis white male of the year. And the winner, with a whopping 36% of the vote, goes to none other than Australia's own Corey Bernardi. 36% of the vote and the winner of the Cis White Male of the Year. For the next award, we now have the International Cuck of the Year Award. This isn't an award that should be taken lightly. It's definitely an award that someone wouldn't want to receive, that's for sure. And we've had a lot of cucks come in 2016, without a doubt. A lot of leaders selling us out and playing the left and playing their game and not standing up for the values and principles they should. Now, the nominees. We have had Mitt Romney, Jeb Bush, George Venter, Leonardo DiCaprio, Jeremy Corbyn, Richard Di Natale, Barack Obama, and Bill Shorten. Such a close vote, but Barack Obama edged in third place with 16% of the vote. None other than the president that's just left us, and thank God for that. In second place, we have none other with 29% of the vote, Malcolm Turnbull, which has to be one of the biggest cucks of Australia that is definitely we've been seeing right now, leader of the Conservative Party, but plays all fiddle to the left-wing establishment and definitely doesn't have any principles or values. In first place and the winner of the International Cuck of the Year Award goes to Justin Trudeau. And I've got to say, is a very worthy candidate for this award. He comes up with the quote such as, If you kill your enemies, they win. Really. He also, um, there's much speculation that um, he's uh, the bastard son of Fidel Castro. With uh, appearances that are very well in place, that look very similar. And not only that, but his, um, his mother had um, a, a, a relationship with him at one stage. Um, so there's definitely some suggesting that that's the case. Um, apart from uh, 
many other uh, instances um, of affairs and scandals that have hurt that family. So he's definitely a cuck. There's no, no uh, doubt about that. For the next award, this is the International Unshackler of the Year Award. A great award and definitely something that rivals and opposes the cuck award. We've had nominees such as Heinz Christian Strache, Beata Zidlo, Rodrigo Duterte, Beppe Grillo, Marine Le Pen, Vladimir Putin, Gert Wilders, and in third place, none other than Australia's own Pauline Hanson. Well done, Pauline. In second place, with 18% of the vote, Nigel Farage, the great Brexit mover. And the winner, and this is without a doubt, first place, the Unshackler of the Year Award goes to Donald Trump, our President of the USA. The next award is for the Australian Patriot of the Year. Now we've had likes of Bob Catter, Ross Cameron, Dick Smith, Mark Latham, Rita Panahi, David Lionhelm, and Sonia Kruger. Really great list of people. In third place is none other than Canberra's own Patriot Dan Evans, a great bloke someone that fights for his beliefs and that organises many rallies and is a great contributor to the movement of patriotism. In second place, Pauline Hanson with 28% of the vote. So 10% for Dan, 28% for Pauline. And the person that has come first and the winner of the Patriot of the Year Award is Blair Cottrell with 31% of the vote. None other than the UPF man himself and someone that has definitely done a lot for the movement here in Australia. Our next and final award is the Australian Regressive of the Year Award. Now we've had many really bad people on this award. We've had Larissa Waters, Ann R. Lee, Rod Bauer, Cindy Pryor, David Morrison, Ros Ward and Gillian Triggs. Now, these people could have won it in itself. I mean, this is how, <laughs> how big the list is. In third place, with 10% of the vote, is Daniel Andrews from Victoria, the Socialist Premier of the Socialist Republic of Melbourne, that has done some of the worst damage I've ever seen any politician do in my lifetime. In second place, with 16%, Andrew O'Keefe. Sunrise host, and definitely another person that uh, is a social justice warrior that all always complains about something. And the winner of the Australian Regressive of the Year Award is none other with 42% Waleed Ali of the project. Now, if anyone deserved this award, I definitely understand why he did. He shuts his people down that he opposes on this show. And he's definitely caused a lot of damage. He's uh, an extremist apologist. He, he never stands up for what's right and always shuts down the truth. Now, we've had a really good year in 2016. And there is many more things to come in 2017. That is the 10 awards and the 10 nominees per award that have been chosen. Now, if you want to continue to get the results, in writing, you could go to theunshackler.net slash awards because so many things have happened for the good of this country in 2016. So I suggest people get behind this movement, get on the unshackled and continue to do your thing for this country. Continue to press on the issues that concern you. Fight the feminists, fight the left, fight the extremism and make sure that your voice is heard these are the awards for 2016. I'm Damien Ferry. Have a good day. Thank you.